I have been a professional leather crafter for almost 10 years. Your boy's getting old. I've picked up lots of cool tricks and tips and hacks and all kinds of cool ways to be uh, more productive than the less informed here. Today I'm going to talk about the absolute most slept on secret of the leather crafting community and quite frankly this is transferable to anything you do really. Especially if you're a professional artist, a craftsman, anybody who's sitting at a desk for a long period of time having to do a relatively monotonous task. Brian, what could it be? What could it be? Today I'm here to tell you, open the pit. Yes, open the pit. What the hell are you talking about? Open up the pit. Leather crafting is a slow and tedious process. Most of the time you're sitting in your workshop or your house alone, kind of like how I am right now. So when you're sitting there for long stretches of time, eight hour days just sitting here going crazy by yourself, man, just going crazy by yourself. If you've ever done leather crafting, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And the mind is super, super important for anything creative you do. I mean, even just having a will to live, <laughs> not sitting here and just tapping your life away, just like, hello darkness, my old friend. You gotta get yourself amped up. Drink yourself a cup of coffee and put on some jams that put a fire under your ass. I've always kind of knew this, but about a year ago, I really noticed how important it is to put something on that's upbeat and not just droning and drains the energy out of you. If you wanna be kicking ass, getting stuff done, you have to drink a lot of coffee. You have to be listening to stuff that brings your mood up. Sure, there's a time and place to maybe listen to a podcast, something that kind of takes your attention away, but right there, you heard that, it takes your attention away from what you're doing. So, as much as I love Moist Charlie, there's been a lot of horrible stuff happening. His voice drones and just makes me want to fall asleep. So open up the pit. Here is a perfect example. Everybody's current favorite country artist, Zach Bryan. <laughs> this is me attempting to tool to Zach Bryan. George Strait. Hank Williams. It's painfully slow and makes me want to take a nap. What do you mean by opening the pit? Are you talking about that screaming music? No, I'm not talking about literally opening up a mosh pit. But what I am insinuating is listening to music that makes you want to open up a mosh pit. Doesn't have to be rock music. Marty Robbins. Johnny Horton. You should want to open the pit! Still don't think you can open the pit to country music? Rosalie Allen, Wide Rolling Plains, 1948. country music sons of the pioneers with roy rogers I was trying to prove a point, 
but I think my point's proven. I tooled that uh, faster than I thought I could do it personally, but that's proving a point. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not 1000% perfect, but for God's sakes, did you see how fast I was tooling? The punchline is when you're sitting there working at your desk, you find yourself stagnant. You're sitting there listening to something slow. You're listening to, you know, a movie in the background, you know, maybe a podcast that's super interesting and you're half paying attention there, half paying attention to your work. And then you look up and it's noon and you feel like you haven't done anything and you feel like the day is just blowing by you. Snap out of it, get some stuff done and open up the pit. Ugh. You're welcome for being the first person on the planet to slam dance the Sons of the Pioneers 1937 hit, Devil's Great Grandson. I'm claiming first time in the history of the universe.